Intermediate types. Um, I'd like to address comedy. Is comedy an appropriate vehicle for revolution? I think it's good for enough. <laughs> uh, a vehicle for it, well, uh, you know, maybe the terminology a little bit. I don't know if it's a vehicle for revolution, but it definitely can work. Can work in the fight. It can be a tool in the tool bag. Uh, that that's what I think it's useful for. And you know, uh, Jimmy and I have, have been talking about how ridiculous it is to, that two comedians are uh, some of the you know. In a certain sense, I guess main anti-war voices on the on the media, like, uh, and and to me that's very sad. But it obviously also speaks to what people are willing to to listen to, to spend time with. I think it's a good way to kind of trick people into listening to topics that that they uh, otherwise fall asleep, uh, you know, twelve seconds in. So I, I think it's another tool in the tool bag. I I do not think. Uh -huh. That I can please, being, please being really humble, <laughs> Jimmy and Assange saying you and Jimmy were the most outspoken <laughs> anti-war <laughs> speakers of the <laughs> world. Uh, you phrased it a little bit better than he did. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what is the anti-war left half? Lee Camp and Jimmy Dore? What is the I still take it as a compliment. <laughs> um, but I, I, I'll just, I know we're running short on time, so I'll conclude with this. I, I do think it's an important tool uh, in, in the tool bag towards revolution. I don't think I can recall a revolution that took place with only comedy. Uh, so I think there's a lot of other very important things that need to take place. Uh, I think you need, you need you know, straight up shows, news shows, you need uh, activist shows like Eleanor's, so there's, there's a lot that needs to happen. Well, uh, now I'm blanking on who said this, but... Uh, Mark Twain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar Wilde, I think, said, if you want to tell people the truth, make them laugh or they'll kill you. <laughs> so I wanted to tell the truth, and I was already in a comedy club. So I figured, what the hell, make it funny. <laughs> and so, you know, when I was playing comedy clubs, um, you have to entertain everyone, right? That's the difference between music and comedy. You know, you can go to a country music club, you can go to a hard rock or punk rock, or there's all, and so you know what you're getting. When you go to a comedy club, everybody goes to a comedy club, right? So, drunk voters and, um, you know, I'm Emily and Benjamin. And uh, so, <laughs> it's just, but, um, <laughs> But so you ha I had to learn how to uh, how to couch everything I said and how to word it in a way that was accessible, so people didn't judge me. I had to make them like me first. And uh, so uh, to get back to your question is, is that I I think it can be a big help. Nothing, you know, John Stewart uh, really showed uh, he was great at exposing uh, hypocrisies and showing you that the politicians didn't really believe what they were saying. And I think humor, you know, can just focus in in such a uh, the brevity of it, right? Unlike this answer, um, <laughs> uh, that's the beauty of comedy. It can say, you know, um, it can say a book full of things in one joke, and that's that's what I like about it. You know, uh, like when I say I like to watch, you know, I like listen to Donald Trump's speeches, right? Because every once in a while, I, I'm in the mood to watch a Hitler documentary. <laughs> but I want to hear it narrated by Gary Busey. <laughs> and that, you know, sometimes it would take me a half hour to say everything that book means. <laughs> and I hope you get it like that. You know exactly what I mean, where I stand. And I think it helps. And I think it helps, cer certainly, yeah, it helps make a uh, revolution appealing. Right? And if you can laugh at the things that scare you the most, that's when you conquer them. Yeah. 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 Speaking of making it appealing, uh, fucking still have some fun during this. Like, revolution, part of it needs to be fun, otherwise people are not gonna, yeah. people are not gonna join a cause and just like, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> you know, just flags that say like, oh god! <laughs> so, yeah, you, I think that is the other benefit of comedy. <laughs>